Hey, what's up guys? It's Dave from Cousins Paintball and today we're going to talk about the least expensive and most effective way to make your paintball marker more accurate without having to spend pretty much any money. Stick around. Thanks for sticking around. Like we always say, if you like what we're doing, like, review. Um, if you have questions, put them in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll get to them as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, all day, every day, people come into the shop asking, hey, I need a new barrel. What can I do to make my paintball gun more accurate? Um, am I using the right insert? These very fine-tuned things they're trying to do um, to make their gun more accurate. And more often than not, the main thing that'll make your paintball marker or gun or whatever you want to call it more accurate is, is the quality of your paint, which is sometimes hard to control because of uh, you know field paint rules, etc. And then the other massive thing, probably the more important of every of it, everything in it is um, the how clean everything is. People come in and their guns like their hoppers filled with paint, like then their barrels filled with paint, and their paintballs are covered in paint, and it's impossible to shoot accurately if basically you're throwing spitballs at everything. And this is one of those things, like I said, that's basically free to fix. Um, make sure everything's very clean. Your pods, your hopper, your marker, of course. Anything that comes in counters with the paint, you gotta make sure that's super clean. Um, we're gonna uh, show you the effects of clean paint, good paint, or when I say good round paint, that's more or less a sphere. Um, those effects in a second here when we go out to the field. Um, yeah, but that's the hugest thing. Make sure your paint is clean. Make sure you're using good paint. If you have the opportunity, a lot of fields have like two different grades of paint. Spend the five, ten bucks extra for a good box of paint because it's gonna be it's gonna be way less expensive than buying a new barrel. I mean, a new barrel's a hundred bucks. You know, inserts are twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, depending on the style. It's still cheaper than buying buying that stuff. Obviously, that stuff will help incrementally so you're talking like the last 20 percent 10 percent is going to be the type of gun yada yada type of barrel but that 80 percent 90 percent of your accuracy it's all paint make sure and cleanliness make sure that stuff's clean make sure it's um round and you'll shoot a lot more people and have a lot more fun so let's go out to the field we're going to shoot some targets great so we're out here at the uh, cousins paintball field in calverton um we came out to the field because we can I've got distances I could shoot further so you could see accuracy better at the store. We can only shoot like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet, something like that, unless the neighbors' houses are there, um, which is a bad look. Anyway, um, we're basically going to show you the pros and cons of shooting clean paint, um, round paint, etc. That's one of the biggest accuracy problems that people have is they'll come up and be like, hey, my gun doesn't shoot straight, and you look in their hopper and it's, it's just full of paint, their barrel's full of paint, yada, yada. And it happens, the paintball, you're going to break paint. But you got to clean everything up. You got to use round paint. You got to use spherical paint, or it's not going to shoot straight. So we're going to start with um, clean paint. This is like a mid-grade ball that we use at our field. Um, we're shooting at targets that are probably 50 to 60 feet away. The small one's a little bit closer, obviously. Um, it's probably about 50 feet away, and then the big one's about 60 feet away. And there's one pass that you may not be able to see that's probably about 75 feet away. So we're just going to shoot those guys up with the good paint. I'm using an LV2 with a die barrel. Shouldn't really matter, but. So obviously we're consistently hitting targets that are, um, you know, 50, 60 feet away that are, you know, that one, the small one's probably about a foot, 10 inch square. Um, obviously the bigger one right there is significantly larger. It's like the size of a stop sign. Um, and the further one away, like the 75 foot one is, um, it's probably realistically significantly further and that's probably a hundred feet away now that I'm looking at it. Um, that guy is once again, 10 inches square. Um, so now the next step is we're going to look at some awful paint and see how that shoots. 
So here we've got some uh, some other paint. It's significantly older and it's got a got a bunch of broken paint on it. Um, it's all ashy. It's not super wet, but it is not a uh, it's not what you want, obviously. So we're gonna pour this into my hopper and then shoot it on my gun and see how it works. I'm assuming it's gonna be significantly less accurate. Let's give it a good shaking. Get all that. Oh, there's some good ones at the bottom. Look at those. Look at them. Look at them. LV2 with broken paint in it. You can see my eyes are now faulting because there's broken paint on them. Like we said earlier, obviously you can get better barrels, you can get better inserts, make sure your bore match is perfect, all that stuff. Like we said earlier, that's like your last 20% stuff to do to get perfect accuracy. The one thing that's huge that you could buy is A, good paint, fresh paint. Two, get a swab. I recommend the Exalt Barrel Made. Um, it's probably the best swab in the game. Make sure everything's clean. Your barrel's clean, your bore's clean, and your gun. Make sure your bolt's clean. Buy rags, buy grease. Don't spend all that money on like $200 barrel kits or whatever until you've started out with like everything clean and dry and, and you know, in good paint. So spend that extra five bucks on good paint. Buy a good swab. Make Spend the 10 minutes to make sure your hopper's clean, your pods are clean. Don't go dumping clean paint into broken pods. It's awful. Thanks for sticking around. Um, like we say, if you have any questions, if you need help with anything, we're here. Contact us. We're easy to find. Email is deerpark at shopcousins.com. Our website is shopcousins.com. If you want to play paintball in any of our amazing parks, just go to cousinspaintball.com. All the field information is there. Um, awesome. We'll see you later on. Bye.